They seem like works of art. Child's play. Amorphous shapes lost in a sea of colors. But there's nothing fun about them. These are images taken from space of this. And this. Countless fires that scarred our Earth this year. And with each, giant smoke plumes of carbon monoxide, methane, and carbon dioxide carried up into the atmosphere, into the air we breathe. The total number of acres burned so far this year, nearly two and a half million. How will fire frequency change in a world where the climate is getting warmer? where dry places will get even less rain. Climate projections show that the drying trend in the United States will continue. There will be a greater risk of fire by the end of the 21st century in places that aren't prone to burning now, like the Great Plains and Upper Midwest. Areas like the Mountain West, burning frequently today, will see an even greater number of fires. That means more homes at risk, more federal dollars spent on rebuilding, a greater risk to the nation's food supply. If we reduce our greenhouse gas emissions, can we mitigate these risks? Under a low carbon scenario, temperatures rise by 4.5 degrees. But under a high carbon scenario, temperatures rise by 8 degrees. Either way means more fires. But just as you'd expect, higher temperatures mean more burn scars like this in more places.